I had a lot of fun playing Abzu in my last video, and one of the things I liked about it was its runtime. It took me about 3 hours to finish, and it was extremely linear, constantly moving you forwards but also allowing you time just to sit there and take in your surroundings. So, I wanted to find other condensed games on Game Pass, and I came across The Gardens Between. Now, this game wastes absolutely no time at all. And that's not some clever play on words because this is a game about manipulating time to progress through levels. As soon as you load up the game and press the first button, the camera immediately shifts into the opening cutscene and from then on, you drift through this beautifully crafted world for about two hours. The Gardens Between doesn't stop to tell you anything. You're left to speculate as to who you're playing as, what they're doing and why they're doing it. There is no dialogue, no backstory to tell. I only even found out the girl was called Arena because it told me in an achievement. Everything is left intentionally ambiguous and that gives The Gardens Between a mysterious charm. You guide Arena and Friend, whose name I googled because I didn't know who it was when playing and it sounded too weird to call him Boy or Child B but I have no idea if I'm pronouncing the name right. It's spelled F-R-E-N-D-T. So, f friend? 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 Anyway, in each of the game's 20-ish levels, you must guide the two of them to the top of a landscape made of everyday items. Arena and friend perform different actions to help you solve puzzles, but you control them in unison. Actually, you control everything in unison, progressing time forward and winding it back to weave your way through levels. Arena must light her lantern and carry it to the top. Fre Freddy can interact with certain objects to further manipulate time, usually an object that functions independently from the rest of the level or a portal to move the light to another location. You're drip-fed other elements as you go like these little robot things that can carry the orb or the lantern through alternative routes, or cloud platforms that will disappear if your lit lantern gets too close. But the best puzzles are those that make you warp time in clever ways, like rocking a saw back and forth in time to cut through a plank of wood. There are a handful of puzzles in particular that are crafted exceptionally well, there's one where you have to memorise the steps Arena and Frank take across a number pad so you can input the right password. Then you have to print out the right picture to make it appear in front of you, and then you have to set the speaker to the right frequency to break the glass and finish the level. And it's the level design that really is the highlight of the Gardens Between for me. Each level is built from the fragments of a memory, and when you complete it, you'll see a picture of Arena and Franz to get an idea of where all these scattered pieces came from. A rope pulley is wrapped around a bike wheel to create a makeshift elevator, or you use the fossilised bones of a falling dinosaur model as bridges to cross gaps. When moving time forward and back, these individual broken pieces revolve around a centre, like each level has its own gravitational pull a pull that perhaps Arena and Francis are hoping keeps them together. There are these rare moments of intimacy between Arena and Frederick, a wave or a laugh or them holding hands for a brief second. When everything else you know about them is stripped away, these subtle reactions really stand out and made me question what their relationship was, and they stick out in my memory now even though that question is never answered. I like that The Gardens Between is short, keeping the meaning behind its story hazy until the very end, so I'm going to keep this review short as well. With the purposeful obscuring of its message, I played through The Gardens Between expectant of a grand reveal, and I think I was trying so hard to find the meaning behind the game that I let my expectations get too high, expecting too much of an emotional payoff for a game that lasts two hours and is about two characters I didn't even know the names of. And that's a credit to how The Gardens Between captures the melancholy of reminiscence. 
It's a short and bittersweet game about remembering those who move on. I just wish there was a little bit more to remember. <laughs>